Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. And today I ha um, we have a short video uh, talking about the most common side effects of the medication metformin. Now, as with all my videos, this is for informational purposes only. It's not intended to serve as a substitute for the consultation, diagnosis, and or medical treatment of a qualified physician or healthcare provider. So what is metformin? It, uh, it's a medication that decreases the liver production of glucose. It decreases glucose absorption in the gut. It improves glucose sensitivity, and it affects something called AMPK. It's, the AMPK is very interesting in the metabolism, um, a subject I may go into deeper at some point, but not, uh, not during this video. I'm going to focus mainly on the side effects. So current uses for metformin include type 2 diabetes, prediabetes, antipsychotic induced weight gain, so medications uh, to help with mood and um, things like that can cause a lot of weight gain. Sometimes metformin is used to offset that weight gain. Gestational diabetes, diabetes during pregnancy, and PCOS, those are all uh, fairly common uses of metformin. But potential metformin uses are really interesting. We're seeing uh, possibly cancer or even longer survival once diagnosed with cancer, uh, longevity, meaning we could live longer, health span. Health span means not only do we live longer, but we're more active um, and able to function while uh, we're living, not just spending those last 20 years in a nursing home. And more, um, it's it's very interesting. It'll be there's a lot of smart people studying metformin right now, and more potential uses coming down the pipeline. So, what are the most common side effects of metformin? Um, nausea, diarrhea, and flatulence. So we're talking stomach issues. Those are by far the most common. And when taken properly, you can really do things to reduce the chance of these occurring. But we're diarrhea can occur in up to half of people taking metformin. Um, so that is certainly something to consider. What are the other common side effects? Uh, we get some muscle weakness, headache, excessive sweating, stomach upset. Now I do, uh, I have another metformin video where I go into more detail on some of the more less common side effects. So um, you go ahead and watch that if you want to, if you want to learn more about side effects. But what about reducing those side effects? Well, it can be taken with food and we can increase the dose slowly. Now, um, Typically, it started at 500 milligrams, and you take it with your largest meal of the day. Um, the target dose can be anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 or even 2,500, depending on the condition. Um, but you want to increase that dose slowly. So a lot of times, it's one a day with your largest meal, and then you go twice a day, and then two twice a day. All depends on how your stomach handles it as you slowly increase the medication. Um, of course, that's something your doctor will help you determine the best way for you to slowly increase that dose. Now, interesting thing is if you stop taking it for even a few days, you may have to restart slowly. You can't go back to your full dose if you've been off of it a while. It's simply the GI or the stomach upset could simply be too much. So keep that in mind. I do appreciate you watching my video. I uh, hope you subscribe to my channel and like the video if you appreciate it. Always talk to your doctor, your healthcare provider with questions about your medications. Um, and if you have any questions for me, go ahead and ask them in the comments below. Thanks again for watching.